If you have droopy or hooded eyes like me, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take it from this to this with a few simple steps. So if you're ready to lift those droopy eyes, let's begin. Let's get done with the eyebrows first. I'm going to be using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is in the shade 6 to fill in the sparse areas. When I fill in my brows, I mostly focus on the sparse areas because I want it to look as natural as possible. When you overfill your brows, they start looking heavy and they weigh down on your hooded or droopy eyes, making them look even more droopy. Also, I like to keep the arch of my brows as high as possible and I don't like to pull the end any lower than it is because I want to create as much space between my lash line and the arch of my brows. Now this is where the magic happens. So I like to use a concealer to clean up underneath the brows. The one that I'm using is the Milani concealer in the shade 145, which is a close match to my skin tone. And I also like to use the concealer on my lids as a base for the eyeshadows. What this does is it cancels out the redness and the uneven skin tone and it gives the illusion of a larger lid space. I'm going to lightly set this with powder before the concealer starts to crease and I'm using airspun and I want to show you the difference from before to now after applying the concealer so here's the before and here is the after and you can see what a big difference it already makes and now for the makeup and illusion I'm going to be using a brown eye pencil from Jordana and I'm going to first feel the area where my socket is with the brown eye pencil, I'm going to carve out my socket in the outer half and join it to my lash line. And that gives the illusion of a larger lid space. If you observe my lid, there's a line just cutting across my lid. That's my natural crease. Now we've drawn a new crease about that. So that makes the lid space appear bigger. I'm going to quickly blend that out with my finger and start pushing some of that color upward and outward. So that'll give you that extended foxy eye look. I'm also going to use the eye pencil in my lower lash line in the outer half, but I'm not going to use it exactly at my lash line. Instead, I'm going to go a little bit lower. So when you squint your eyes, you can see that depression. That is the one that makes your eyes look bigger. So I'm going to apply the eye pencil somewhere between that and my lash line. And again, I'm going to quickly use my finger to blend that out. And just by doing these couple steps, it almost looks like we've extended our crease as well as lower lash line, giving the illusion of bigger eyes. Next, I'm going to be using a black eye pencil. This one's from Colourpop and I'm going to be using it just in the very outer corner of my upper lash line. And again, I'm using my finger to blend that out and that gives that smoky effect, which in turn gives that extended lash line look. All of a sudden, it feels like your eyes are longer. So with this illusion, we've made our eyes look wider and longer, which in turn makes it look bigger. In addition, I'm going to be using a nude eye pencil in the outer half of my lower waterline. The one that I'm using is from Colourpop. This gives the illusion of extending the white in your eyeball. So it almost feels like the white has all of a sudden grown bigger. And overall, your eyes appear bigger and brighter. Now, you're welcome to use a white eye pencil instead of nude. I just don't look good with white eye pencils, so I prefer nude. But you're welcome to if that's your preference. And then I'm going to be using this metallic pencil from Rimmel as a highlighter. I'm going to be using it in the inner corner to highlight my brow bones as well as right in the center of my lid. What this does is wherever you use the highlighter, it draws more light. In turn, it lifts your eyes and makes it look bigger and brighter. 
And again, I'm using the pencil right in the center of the lid and not throughout the lid because I want to get that rounded lid effect. And I'm going to quickly blend it out with my finger. As a final step, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply a coat of mascara. The mascara that I'm using is Roller Lash by Benefit Cosmetics. You can see by applying mascara, it overall lifts your lashes, in turn lifts your eye. And in my lower lash line, I'm only going to apply it on the tips because applying it on the roots makes your lower lash line darker, which in turn again makes your eyes look smaller. Once again, let's look at the before. And here is the after and you can see what a big difference it makes with just a few simple steps. To finish up this look and make it more like an everyday look, I'm going to pair this with a nude lipstick. This is the Flexi Stick by Ofra Cosmetics in Smooth. here's the finished look i hope you enjoyed this tutorial let me know in the comment section below if you want to watch more videos like these do check out the description box for all the products that i use today and you'll also find my socials there if you feel inspired by this tutorial and if you plan to recreate please don't forget to tag me if you're new here please consider subscribing i post several videos a week and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up i love you guys so much and i will see you soon with a brand new one bye guys